Hello and welcome to my channel where we may be dazed, but we are not confused. We are going to be doing a New Horizons reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So we're going to take a look at where you are currently, what you're leaving behind, what your hopes and fears are, and what you're trying to move into in the near future. So with that being said, let's take a look at where you are currently. All right, Sagittarius. So it looks like you've recently experienced an ending of some sort. Um, it may have been, you know, devastating at the time. Um, with the Ten of Swords, it was, you know, it's a, it's a final ending. So this could have been in a workplace. It could have been a, in a relationship. Um, there may have been a sense of betrayal with this, um, where there was really no place left to go but away because of the nature of how this played out and I feel like where you are now is that you're taking all of that in and deciding to take a leap of faith and expect the best moving forward because you can't go back and fix what that was and you really can't do anything about it and even though it may have been painful and maybe um, you might feel as if you may have some scars from that you're deciding that you're going to take this opportunity to simplify your life and your environment and then just believe in your ability to create the types of things that you want. Um, I see that although this ending may have been devastating, that it may have been for the best thing for you. And I feel like you're seeing it that way because what you want to have, you want to live a life of abundance and a life where you're happy and you're peaceful and you just, you just have a totally different experience, but you couldn't do that where you were before. So as brutal as this ending was, the fact that it happened has put you in a space where all you can do is take a leap of faith you know, sometimes a leap of faith is really a push off of a cliff. And then it's just like, you're falling. What are you going to do? Are you going to fly? Um, you spread your wings and fly. Or are you going to hit the ground? And I feel like with this, you're saying, I'm going to spread my wings and fly. And I see a white dove here. So to me, it's very spirit led. I feel like this is something that was supposed to happen for your good. And because this happened and because you're believing in your ability to, um, do better and to make something out of nothing now that this other stuff has been taken away that this is going to happen um, I feel like you're going to take your pain and the sorrows that you have and create beauty out of that um, and it wants to come out it wants to be there I mean you could even be inspiring people maybe sharing your story um, it could be any of those things, but I feel like you're in a space where you're ready to, you know, do some alchemy and, and transmute some pretty heavy, gnarly energies into something beautiful. All right. So let's take a look at what it is that you are leaving behind. All right, Sagittarius, from these cards, it looks like you may have been in a situation where you were being given a lot and your needs were being met um, from a very unhealthy space. And I would say that you were being blocked from moving into like your highest path because you may have been in some type of codependent situation where it wasn't the best space for you and it wasn't gonna allow you to grow into creating what you wanted to have. Um, I feel like you were having to mold and like fit into some type of structure, some type of paradigm in order to fit and get what it was that you needed. Um, and I feel like you were getting a lot um, with this infinite abundance. I feel like you had like all your needs are being met. This could be financially and materially, and it could have been even emotionally to some level but with this restore and replenish card and this lady is like in a fetal position I feel like it was a very codependent situation so you may have felt like you were um being nursed and like given this emotional this whatever you needed to fulfill your emotions but it wasn't healthy and it was like any time that was taken away from you you felt very um 
you know, infantile, like you, it's like you were not being fulfilled and it was, and it had your emotions up and down. Um, with this two of pentacles, I feel like you were just juggling, trying to juggle the material things that you had with the emotional roller coaster that you were on in dealing with whatever the situation was. This could be, um, a toxic work environment where maybe you were paid very well, but it was super toxic. The corporate culture was just awful. Um, maybe it was very manipulative, lots of politics, but you know, you were being, you know, kind of pumped up a bit with either position or, um, praise from a, a manager and plus your compensation, but you felt emotionally, um, distraught because it wasn't healthy. Like you were, you were balancing, you know, is it worth it to deal with this or not? You know? So, you know, if it was a relationship, it was definitely one where it was kind of codependent. And I feel like, you know, you, it was such a rare situation. It was almost too good to be true. But when you got into it, I feel like you had to give a lot more than what you expected in order to get what it was that you needed. And you just became codependent in it. And ultimately, I feel like this ended, whether it was a job that let you go or it was a relationship that the other partner um, left you behind um, and left you. I feel like this was for your highest good that this happened because now it's going to allow you to separate off of that and you're going to find that you can be more of who you actually are. You could be true to your own soul instead of trying to fit a mold to get um, your material needs met, right? So let's look at what some of your fears are moving forward. All right. So I feel like if this was a workplace situation and it was taking place at a job, I think you're afraid of having time off and not working right now. I mean, if you were in a place where you have to give a lot of your time and you were just pouring so much into it and like you weren't allowed to have a life and you were afraid to have a life because you were concerned about what the consequences would be, what that would look like. Does this mean that I'm not going above and beyond? Will I lose this job? That um, it could be very difficult for you to be in a space where you're not go, go, going all the time. You know, if this was a relationship, um, it could be that you were, you might find that you were kind of stressed and used to the stress of being in a toxic situation. So now that that's not happening all the time, you don't know what it's like to really be in your own space and have peace and have quiet because maybe the silence is bringing up the fact that you're not at peace because you were so used to the chaos of whatever this was. Um, and you know, that's typical when you have like emotional uh, manipulation going on here, which with this kind of showing up like a codependent situation, it may have been. Um, and I feel like you're afraid of you know, seeing the truth of where you are currently, because it was so comfortable to kind of maybe not look at the situation the way it was because you had all these other things distracting you because you're having all these needs being met materialistically. But now that that's all gone, you're forced to see, um, some things that are difficult. And, you know, I feel like you're used to kind of not having to decide for yourself, uh, what to do, like having other people tell you. So if it's a boss at a job telling you what to do, when to do it, being in a, in a relationship where the other person is dominant and overpowering and doing whatever they want and kind of buying you off, um, that could be very difficult um, because you had a lot of distractions around you. And now that that stuff is gone, you're having to see and just sit with yourself and really hear what your soul was wanting to tell you or what it was telling you that whole time. Um, and I feel like you're afraid that because you haven't been in tune with yourself for so long, or you had to kind of ignore or drown it out just to survive every day, that you're not sure if you know what it is that you want. And if what it is that you want is something that you can attain, and you're not sure if that voice is your true authentic voice, because you're not used to hearing it. But I would just say like, as you are in this space, the more that you kind of tune into yourself and the longer that you have this space, this, you know, space around you where you know, you've simplified a lot of the confusion from outside voices and other influences, you'll hear it more and more strongly. And it, as you exercise listening and kind of going with that, it'll become more, um, effortless, you know, it's just your own intuition and it's hard if you haven't listened to it for a while, or you've had, you've had to like kind of deaden it, um, 
which many of us have done or are have done or are doing to make it, you know, especially in the type of society that we lived in for so long. Um, it's difficult when now it's just you and that voice. So that makes sense to me. And I, I hope that, you know, that that kind of was, um, clear. So, um, let's take a look at what your hopes are. All right. So it looks like you know, if this was a work situation, you may have been wanting to, like you have this project or this idea or something that you want to do, that you want to create. And it's something you've kind of been holding to yourself, keeping to yourself. You haven't told anybody about it. Um, and you never had the space to do it because you had a very comfortable job and you didn't want to disrupt that you wanted to stay where it was comfortable and kind of go with the status quo but now that you've kind of been pushed into this space you're hoping that you're able to make this happen um and it's you know you're enthusiastic about it it makes you really happy and um it could even be that you're you know like we were saying before you might be wanting to this could be writing a book um you might want to inspire people with you know, what you've kind of gone through or what you've experienced. And so that could be something that you want to bring into being. Um, I'm also picking up for some reason that like one of your hopes, one of your secrets could be that, um, you know, it could be that you are pregnant or you are hoping to become pregnant or have a child. Um, if that if that was the case, I feel like you're excited about it. If this is the case for those of you who might be expecting, you're you're not telling anyone about it and you're keeping it a secret for now, um, but you are excited about it. You're not keeping it a secret because you don't want, um, because you're not happy about it. I see that you are enthusiastic, but you're just waiting until the right time to um, share this. Um, you know, and if this is connected with a job also this could even be maybe this was a factor at your job for why you had to leave the job or maybe you're happy that you got let, let go from this job because you knew knew that you were expecting and the job was too stressful to do that and this now gives you time to be a parent the way that you would like to um or have the kind of pregnancy that you want to because you don't have the stressful job so um picking that up for um some of you so all right, let's take a look at what's coming up on the horizon. All right, so what's coming up for you on the horizon is that moving forward, I feel like you're gonna be satisfied with a less is more mentality. Um, I feel like instead of trying to juggle a bunch of things at the same time, you're letting go of a lot of things or you were let go of from a lot of things. And now it's forced you to be in an energy of really appreciating what you have and doing more with what you do have. And that's going to allow you to have peace of mind and go further with that. Um, I see like you're letting go of what happened in the past. You're, you know, like we said earlier, um, like you're just kind of moving forward from it and healing yourself in the now. You're looking at it like you can't do anything about what happened in the past. You're just going to start from where you are, take the lessons from that and make the best choices that you can with what you have. And I see that you are going to be in a space of really digging into um, yourself and just trusting yourself. Um, you know, really digging into the nature, getting to know yourself for who you are and what you like or what you don't like, what makes you tick and going from that space, really grounding yourself, maybe spending some time in nature and that really helping you. And this will give you the energy that you need to take the action that you need in order to create this thing that you want to do going forward right? Because you want to live differently. Like you want to have more peace. You want to have um, a more simple situation because from that space, you can do more, All right? So I feel like you're also going to be really focusing on, um, with this less is more strategy, focusing on savings. So if you had a lot of money before, like, like we said earlier, you might've been getting paid a lot or someone was giving you a lot. Um, and with that, you might've been spending a lot as well. 
because it was just there all the time that now because you're focusing on less is more that you're taking what you do have and being more frugal with it and this will help to balance you out and give you that sense of security as you focus on doing what it is that you need to do in order to be true to yourself and you'll have that sense of security from knowing that you have this savings um, set aside and that you you have what you need for what you have to take care of in the moment all right so all right Sagittarius that's what I have for you I hope that was helpful thank you for joining me on this channel where we may be days when you're not confused and I will see you on the next video bye bye